Hi Aquarius, welcome back to your full moon in Pisces reading. This is for September 10th, 2022. This moon is about healing the soul. So, yeah, let's get into it. It's no <laughs> small feat. Um, what is the moon closing out for you or this lunar phase bringing for you is the Fool and the Six of Wands. The Fool always uh, offers you a new adventure. I like the Fool. It's the beginning and the end of the cycle. It's both. And um, you're kind of coming to something with fresh new eyes, with your new sea legs, uh, or land legs, actually. Um, <laughs> and um, I do believe that this new adventure has something to do with groups. As we're looking at um, Six of Wands here, which is victory in group situations. It's leading a group into victory. And so groups are definitely uh, um, something to uh, look out for here. I have a feeling that you might be either entering into a new group or being the leader of a group situation. And I do think that it should go very well for you, especially with the Fool, as you have... Um, the Fool is about, certainly you will meet challenges and rewards, uh, but um, even those challenges, you can expect help because uh, you never know what the universe is going to provide. And so it's having the faith of a child. And it's a great way to enter this Six of Wands, I think, because when you do that, you are assured victory. And I do see that here with the Six of Wands. Um, however, you may have finished something recently and you know that you've been victorious then and you also know that there's more to do. You know, six is not ten. Six is not the end of a cycle. But um, so you're in the midst of this um, adventure. You're in the middle of it or, or in the middle of it you can find some success. Uh, but you know that there will be more to go. Um, what is assuring you success is wisdom. The hermit has taken from prior adventures uh, that the fool has been on, and he's taken that information, and he's uh, taken that knowledge, and as he digests the information, um, he can create wisdom from it. Two different things. Um, there may also be a search for a new group or a new situation that you'd like to um, to start with or to get involved with. Uh, the hermit is also somebody who seeks and searches out uh, groups and people and that sort of thing. Um, and so that you can have this adventure going into, uh, into a, a victory ride, stance, what have you. How you are dealing with it um, is with the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is expectations. You can see that she's expecting a child, and they're both waiting for that um, for that crib to be filled. And so, uh, what have we planted in the past, and what will it bear? How will those fruits? Uh, are we going to be happy with with what we've uh, what, what we've planted and and grown, or is there something else that we need to add to it? Maybe another child, maybe another crop, maybe another idea. That kind of um, thing with the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is often about how you wait. So there is this expectation, there is this waiting period, um, and you can wait. Uh, with high expectation and happiness and joy, or you can be a little bit uh, grumpy about why hasn't it, uh, why hasn't it given complete birth yet. So um, it's about how you are waiting for something. And then you have the Three of Pentacles with that. So the Three of Pentacles for me is about apprenticeship. And that makes sense with this card and finding a group or leading a group, depends. The scenario could be both. Um, so how do you, uh, 
who do you partner up with? Who do you learn from who? Do you know what I mean? Like what, what group do you want to be a part of? What do you expect from a group that you maybe are um, working with or apprenticing with? Um, what do you want out of it? What are you expecting from it? And what do you want to learn from it? Um, let's pull another one for that one. Let's find a little clarity there. They're both pentacles, so it can have something to do with finances, uh, work, and health. And you're looking at the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is a message that comes in for me. This is usually an electronic message. So this can be uh, faxes, emails. Do, do people have fax machines anymore? Um, texts, uh, <laughs> uh, phone calls, electronic. I will just put it that way. Information that comes in uh, and you are informed about something. So there's some information regarding work and money and also new things to learn. And possibly, you know, what you expect, some expectations. There can be news on what you expect. The outcome is the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Fantastic. These are new passions that can be grounded. This is really good. Now, the funny thing is the Queen of Pentacles is my Aquarius card. So this fits you perfectly. An Aquarius card is, um, Aquarians are sort of, uh, I would say they're the people that are bringing in the new age. It's not for a long time before it comes. I'm sorry, but it isn't. But, uh, you know, it has to start somewhere. And it starts with passions. It starts with the purifying fires. And um, I think that's something that you can ground right now. And maybe you want to work with groups of people who are moving in that direction, uh, who want to bring a new way of uh, thinking and understanding to the world. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, but it's very earthy. It's a very earthy, um, grounded, energy so it's kind of not the new age hoo-ha it's something a lot more grounded but it is new and it is passionate and um, if anybody can ground it the queen of pentacles can let's get another card for that seven of swords Okay, so in this case, it's pretty well aspected. It can be a very dark card, but in this case, it's very well aspected. And it's actually things that are going on behind the scenes. So there might be things that you don't see that are happening, or you may be working behind the scenes. That can also be it. But it's also taking something that you've learned prior and going somewhere else with it, which would make perfect sense with the Fool because it's a new adventure. And again, with the Hermit card, as I explained earlier, the hermit is taking that knowledge and turning it into wisdom. And that is definitely what I'm seeing happening here. Um, and uh, in this case, I really don't think the Seven of Swords is a bad card. In fact, I think it's a rather good one. Seven is also a card or a number that is close to God. It's like the, the top of the peak. And Funny enough, because that's usually where the fool is. The fool is usually at the peak of a mountain that's ready to step off the mountain. And so, um, yeah, I think uh, spirit has a lot to do with, uh, or at least the, the spirit of spirit. Do you know what I mean? The idea of, of, of spirit is uh, alive and well in Aquarius. What does spirit want you to know in regards to the two coming uh, weeks or this lunar phase you have the queen of cups queen of cups so yeah i think there is some very spiritual energy here some real deep dive the really wonderful thing about this is that it gets grounded so the queen of cups can be stay very much in her watery emotional thoughts and um, it's my Scorpio card, just so you know. So there's an intensity and there's a depth to it, but you can get lost in those depths. And the uh, Queen of Pentacles will pull you right back up to the surface and maybe leave the roots deep, 
but wants to pull that up to the surface so it can be workable, so it can be used and not buried uh, deep under the mud. Um, no, I'm not saying the Queen of Cups is muddy. I'm just looking at this particular scenario. Your intuition, your psychic intuition can be heightened right now, but you may also be working with the Queen of Cups. And so this is a cooperative effort with the Three of Pentacles because it's an apprenticeship. So you may be teaching somebody or you may be learning from someone. And this could be the person, this could be the Queen of Cups. If it's um, on a, a um, astral level or a, a, a spiritual level or a more esoteric level, this is definitely the person you'd like to learn from because that's their home. All right. So short and sweet, but I think very succinct and very um, direct. I uh, don't know that you need more explanation. That's the next two to four weeks. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks with the new moon reading. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. I think it went really well. This is the second really good reading I've had for Aquarius. Um, so I think you guys are on a roll. Keep going. We need you. We love you. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye.